welcome to my channel where we speak all things cybersecurity. I'm Lina Bongale, a cybersecurity professional for over 10 years now. Recently, I obtained Cloud Security Professional Certification. What I would like to share with you in this video are some tips and tricks on studying for the exam. These are just what I figured for myself and hope are useful to you as well in your journey of prepping for any cloud certification. As you probably already know, the CCSK exams by the Cloud Security Alliance, that is the CSA, are not cloud vendor centric and are cloud agnostic. This really helps in understanding the core cloud architecture and functionalities. Having a good understanding of core cloud computing forms a strong foundational pillar in developing a comprehensive cloud security strategy to secure the organization's data and applications in the cloud. Honestly, none of the tips I'm going to mention are rocket science or are, or are out of the ordinary. In fact, you will perhaps call them logical, common sense, and practical. There are six domains in all where all knowledge of cloud security, where, where your knowledge of cloud security will be tested. While well, any certification will give you the list of the six domains, I would like to highlight the topics to focus on within each domain. So let's go. The first step is always building a strong foundation, which is true for any certification or exam you may be studying for. For the cloud security certification, Starting with grasping the fundamentals of cloud computing and its architecture really helps to understand why and how hackers or bad actors will attack your data in the cloud. This really takes you a long way, well beyond the scope of an exam. Because once you have a good understanding of this, you will automatically start thinking of a defense strategy by applying your knowledge of cloud architecture. You can start with absolute basics since everything really stems from there. Have a thorough understanding of the different cloud services, deployment models, its key characteristics such as on-demand, self-service, broad network access, multi-tenancy, rapid elasticity, resource pooling, and metered service. Now, if you want to invest a bit more time, I highly recommend reading OWASP Top 10 Cloud Risk. OWASP, that is Open Web Application Security Project, has been around since its inception in 2001. It is a community driven organization that is for non profit. OWASP works to build a knowledge base including tools and security intelligence across the cloud technology space. OWASP manages a document and forum space that is open and free to all. They create regular top 10 lists of issues in several key areas, including cloud, web application, the internet of things, and mobile applications. Understanding the top 10 cloud risk, and they are constantly changing, in, con in conjunction with getting a good understanding of the cloud secure data lifecycle, will give you a solid understanding of your cloud provider's security posture. Domain two is all about data security. When understanding how to secure data, consider all types of systems, virtual machines, networks, storage technologies within the hosting environment. The cloud data lifecycle shows how data flows from its creation through its disposition and how it is handled through varied users and activities while it remains within a system or application. When it comes to data in infrastructure as a service, focus on understanding volume and object data concepts. For platform as a service, make sure you understand what is structured versus unstructured data. And in software as a service, understanding file structure and storage becomes important. 
go in as much depth as you like when reading up on data loss prevention, data privacy, encryption and key management, data hashing and tokenization, data de-identification and masking. Also understand what is digital rights management and what is information rights management and why they are so important in the cloud. All these are like core concepts and strategies when it comes to protecting data in the cloud. Domain 3 is all about physical and virtual infrastructure security. Pay close attention to concepts of identity and access management. Understand what is federated identity in the cloud and how is business continuity and disaster recovery done in the cloud. Domain 4 focuses on understanding the different types of application testing, such as DAS, SAS, and also know the software development lifecycle, that is the SDLC process. Other commonly used technologies and paradigms within cloud computing are XML appliances, web, applica web application firewalls. In the cloud, having a good understanding of systematic approach such as sandboxing and application virtualization becomes very important. Since Domain 5 covers extensively the components from ITIL, reading through the concepts of ITIL and familiarizing with a set of best practices for IT service management is always very helpful. It's always a bonus if you already know or have experience in change management, configuration management, and developing SLAs. Domain 6 is focused on the legal and regulatory requirements for IT systems, including how they are specifically related to cloud computing. Having a bit of understanding on regulatory paradigms such as maybe NERC, CIP, HIPAA, SOX, PCI, DSS will make it a lot easier for you in understanding and or designing legally mandated controls. Apart from having a good understanding on the topics I have covered so far, if you have experience and or knowledge of various processes and procedures for risk management, will really make you a subject matter expert in cloud security. Since with the introduction of cloud computing, the loss of direct risk management has become a major concern for organizations. So if you have a solid understanding of cloud security, coupled with knowing various risk frameworks and assessments, it will not only help you to pass your certification exam, but will make you an A great cloud security professional. I'm assuming that is what you're going for. I hope this information helps you in preparing for your certification. And I wish you all the best for your exam and a great start to a brilliant career in cloud security.